The world's most populated refugee camp, situated in northern Kenya, is set to grow by thousands, putting more strain on the environment. Each month, more and more refugees cross into Kenya, fleeing the conflict in Somalia. They come here to the three camps of Dadaab. Their numbers have grown beyond all expectations. The population has grown considerably since the camps were first set up in 1991. Um, they were originally um, allocated for about 90,000 people. We're now on 275,000 people, so significant increase. Only a third of the new arrivals can be allocated land to erect a shelter. The rest have to stay with friends and family. Koz Abdullahi Farah, age 29, has lived in Dadaab for 20 years. The overcrowding has touched her too. To accommodate the new arrivals, recently the Kenyan government agreed to expand IFO camp. The extension of uh, IFO camp, which we've just been given, um, will allow us to accommodate another 80,000 refugees. It'll also give us the opportunity to set up a model green camp. Uh, it'll give us the chance to lay it out properly in a way which will preserve the environment rather than further degrading it. All camps have an impact on the environment, but the size of the population here brings added urgency to the issue. Traditionally, refugees use wood to construct their houses. Here, efforts are being made to use dried mud bricks instead to reduce the amount of wood harvested from the forest. But replacing firewood for cooking is more difficult, as Koz explains. Finding efficiencies is important. Coes is working for a local NGO building fuel-efficient stoves which use less firewood than traditional ones. Women are taught the benefits of the stoves and how to use them. Every conservation measure counts when dealing with such a large population. We've got a, a density of 11,500 people per square kilometer in those camps, um, which by any city standards is fairly dense. With hundreds of new refugees arriving each week, this extension will soon be full too. UNHCR, along with other UN agencies, have increased assistance to the camps and to the local communities to try and improve the living conditions of the refugees. But the challenges are ongoing.